Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Saturday night at City Field, the Mets won their third straight. As for the second straight night, they hit four home runs as they walloped the Phillies 12 to 1. Mets were down 1 0 in this game before the home run barrage began. Well, Noah Syndergaard gave up the one solo home run to Freddie Galvis in that third inning, but the Mets had four home runs to answer. Ten of their 12 runs via the home run. Uh, Cespedes had hit his 26th home run, a three run shot. Oh, Cabrera hit his 16th. He had, he had two last night. That's three in two days. He's been phenomenal. Uh, Walker added one, his 23rd. And then Kelly Johnson off the bench. A pinch hit grand slam. His fourth pinch hit home run as a Met and his seventh of the season as a Met. Just a phenomenal uh, season for Kelly since coming over to the Mets and been playing great off the bench. We're all trying to pull our weight, but... I think everyone in the dugout had a good feeling that Cespi was going deep right there, and then when he does it, you just kind of shake your head. I still think it's the it's a continuation of starting in San Francisco, of winning a couple big games, and I think some energy came back. Uh, we got some other guys back in the lineup, and it's it's caught on a little bit. So I think a lot of that has to do with, you know, there's some confidence in there right now. I feel like there's a great atmosphere in the clubhouse. You've got a lot of energetic veteran guys that are... Uh, Helping the young guys um, really grasp and, and buy in and, into the program and just uh, all pushing for one another. And then there was Syndergaard, who had a double in his own right, allowed just two hits over seven innings for his 12th win. Well, he ties Bartolo Colon for the team uh, a lead in, in, in wins, his 12th of the year. And this is now two good starts back-to-back, -back, Gary. Uh, the Giants start, of course, he went eight innings, a shutout ball, gave up two hits today, seven innings, one run, another only, only gave up two hits in this one. So Syndergaard is back on uh, all cylinders, and that's a very po big positive for the Mets. Right now I'm just able to, to locate my sinker to both sides of the plate, uh, right-handed, left-handed hitter, it doesn't really matter. And uh, my slider's been a lot more consistent uh, this time around, especially uh, uh, the past two starts. It's even, I think it's been even better than it has the previous starts. He was the one guy that didn't show any effects of last year for the first couple months. I think he ran into a streak where he did. Um, and, you know, we've tried to, again, back off a little bit of the workload, even though he is a workaholic. Um, but I think he's just got his sinker, his sinker's better, locating it better, and he's getting ground balls as opposed to line drives. So now a lot of questions coming up in the Mets rotation. Cologne and Syndergaard get the wins in this series. Sunday, the final game of the series, and Robert Gazelman, who got a win in relief in his major league debut in St. Louis, gets his first big league start. Our coverage begins at 12.30 with City Pregame live on Sunday afternoon on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.